What's up everyone? As you know, I am Jim from Jim Shaped Coding. This is the fourth challenge and today I'm going to continue on with my previous challenge where we discussed about how you can implement dice rolling with Python using the Eater Tools module. In this one, I'm going to take that to the next level by showing the output of the dices in real images of a red dices with a graphical user interface. I'm really excited to show you guys how this is going to be done. Let's start. Okay, so in the beginning we will start with creating and designing our form with Kinter, okay? If you don't know what Kinter is and you never worked with that, trust me, that is fine, okay? This is a really easy framework and you can catch up every single line of code I'm, ri I'm going to write in this video because it is really understand understandable and an easy framework. So the next one will be creating a dynamic functions to change the dice image whenever we click a roll dice or something like that. And the last one will be just creating and positioning different widgets like buttons, labels and texts so our form will be look nicer. In the first step I'm going to start with the modules that I'm going to import and that will be from Tkinter import everything because we want to use a lot of stuff that the Tkinter includes so we pretty much want to import everything that it's possible. The next one will be to import from the PIL, PIL sorry, the image TK and also the image. Now if what I'm doing right now is not familiar to you please click the link below and watch the video about how to create an image in Tkinter and it's right on my channel or you just click the link below and I'm going to really go fast through it so if it's not familiar to you please go watch this video and okay let's continue the next one will be import iter tools I need that to make all the combinations of, combinations of dices and also I want to random module to randomly pick a dice among all the combinations and now we want to continue to actually the lines of code required in order to create a form so I'm going to create that by root equals tk and I want that to run forever so I have to make that root that main loop and our main code is going to go between these two lines so the next thing I want to do is actually I'll make this form a little bit bigger because if I execute that and as you can see it's not really big by default and I'd like to make that a little bit bigger so in order to make that bigger I want to use the geometry method and I want to put that pixels by width and the height so you will see now this form will be a, a lot bigger than the previous one as you saw before and the next thing is going to do is going to be the configuration of our background of this form because I like to make that a little bit nicer. So I want to store my background color variable because I'm going to use that more than once and this would be more efficient to store that as a variable. So I already chose a kind of green color by the hexadecimal characters. Right here I'm going to paste it boom okay so this is a kind of green kind of bold green and you will see that right now that with this execution okay so as you see this is a really nice kind of green not too much light and not too much bold and uh, not too much dark and now I can continue to uh, making my widgets so the first widget will be the first dice image and this is going to be equal to image tk and dot photo image and between that I want to open my image in the ob in the Python object so it will be remembered that I open this one and you can achieve that by image dot open first image Path. So don't worry, obviously I'm going to create this variable right now and I also want to copy and paste this line because we are going to show two dices so I'm pretty much going to 
paste the second line here by from the first one and after that, this done I can really mention the paths of the image that I want to display so the first image path is going to be equal to dot slash zero dot png and the second one is also going to be equal to the same one so let me explain what I did here what I did here in the beginning when the form is going to show up there is no going to be a rolled dice so I just want to show an empty red box that this is going to be just the first picture in the execution of the program so let me show you how the 0.png file looks like okay so this is how the file is lo looks like this is just a picture of a kind of red box and this is the default picture that is going to be displayed when you execute this program and obviously whenever you click a button of a roll dice or something this is going to display different images kind of the following that I'm going to show you as this or that or anything that you can see here so I created my images my, by, by myself and I want to display the image regarding the result we got whenever we uh, rolled a dice so this is pretty much it let's go to my challenge 4 and continue and now it is the time to uh, add these images into a label so first dice label is going to equal to label excuse me label with capitalized and this is going to be displayed on the root form and its image is going to be first dice image and just to make it more nicer I want to tell that its background is going to be equal the background we made just here and after I done that I want to pack this label up and display it so this is kind of ready so let's see if this is going to work okay you can see that the image we displayed just before 0.png is right here so I'm going to do exactly the these steps to the second dice and I'm just going to change the variable names here and obviously I have to change the image and this is pretty much it let's see if this works okay so I have now ready the the two spots that our dices is going to be shown whenever we click roll and this is really nice beginning let's continue from here okay so now I want to little bit zoom out so you can see all the relevant uh, lines because I'm going to add some more code to here so the next step I want to do is to change the image whenever a button is clicked and to do that I have to start with first of all get all the combination of dices and pick one of them randomly and as you remember from my previous video we already done that in our challenge 3 as you see right here so I'm just going to copy this function right here and I'm going to print that right there and instead of printing the rolled dice I want to return that so whenever I execute the rolled dice this is going to return me a rolled dice and just for the information we will do a nice comment here and we will say that roll dice function and this is going to return a dice combination by a tuple for for example and 6 1 or I don't know 4 4 so this is how this is going to be returned and it's going to be returned by a tuple so as we understood this function here we can just minimize this out and we can continue on to our next function and the next function is going to be called update roll dice image because now I really want to dive into the step whenever we press a button 
and the image changes. So obviously the first one would be to roll a dice. So I just have to call the function we just write it above. So rolled dice is going to be equal to roll dice function right there. And the next one will be just for it to be more prettier. I want to pr print that. And now I want to mention the new image of the pet that I want to replace that with the blank red cube. So I want to call that new first image pet equals to something something that I don't know right now dot png right excuse me slash something dot png but how I'm going to collect this something so the best practice will be before I continue let's just make another copy of that for the second one so new second image pad okay so I thought about the best practice to do this is just convert the roll dice to a list okay so its output will be like returns I don't know maybe 4 4 for example and now I can access these roll dice elements by list indexes so what I can do here is just making that format roll dice and access the zero position and I can do the same one in the second dice and I can just change the index to one here so I can just access this p picture files with this little trick okay so the final steps would be to assign this image pad into a image tk class so I have to do that by new first image let's call it dice image is equal to image tk dot photo image and this is going to be equal to image dot open and i want to mention here the image of the first pad that we just implemented a minute ago so this is pretty much it for creating the image instance and obviously i want to copy and paste it to do the exact same thing to the second dice so we will just change the first to second and this is pretty much it from the, for the image instance that is imported from the image tk so now what we have to do is two steps we have to use the label.configure to configure our label and change the image inside of it Remember how we told that the configure method could do some changes during the execution of the form. So what I have to do now is just catching up the first dice label and configure its image to the new image. So I can do that by image equal new equals to new first dice image. And obviously I want to do that for the second one so I will just replace the first to second in this line okay so this is pretty much it but there is a little tiny tiny thing that it's missing here and this is going to be confusing because it's the images with Kinter is a little bit complicated and not the nicest thing to work with so whenever you just configure an image you want to prevent from the f garbage collection from deleting that image so you have to do a little extra step here in order the change of the image to take effect so what you have to do is just dive into the dice label object and do that image and make that equal to new first dice image and you have to do that also with the second one because we want to change the both dices whenever we roll a dice so this should be enough to update our dice images okay so the really final step is 
to create a button that whenever we click it, it is going to change the dice images since new dices have been rolled. So let's create a roll button. It is going to equal to button and it's going to sit on the root form. It's text going to be roll dices and now we want to use the command property here and assign the update roll dice image function to that. So whenever you press that button, new dices are going to be rolled. Now, just to clear the confusion and to be clear, you have to delete these little parentheses right here because to, the, to assign the object of the function is enough here and you don't have to really execute that so the parentheses are not required and even more it has to not be there in order this to work properly. So roll button dot pack and to make it a little bit nicer I want to pack that to the bottom of the form so we will have the real focus on the dices so let's see if this is going to work okay so we have our little roll dices button right there let's click on it okay so as you see this is really beautiful we changed the dices to what has been rolled now if you can see the terminal right there and I will put this side by side. Whenever I click a but the roll dice button, the output of my dice is printed by a list. And whenever I do that, it is just being updated. Now this happens because I wanted to print my roll dice combination in that function that is being executed in each click and I converted the tuple to list this is why you see the brackets are not curly and it is squared so I can do that even 100 times and this is going to work proper and this is pretty much it so I really hope you enjoyed that video it is a little bit complicated to work with images with Kinter but once you get into it, it is being really easy and even fun to work that because look what we what we, we what we accomplished in this short video. So I really thank you for watching this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe this video and comment below any question that you have to make this more clear. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.